Okay, guys, welcome Brooks Kepka, the captain of Smash GC, and Peter Yulhein, who's also on Smash GC. Both had awesome days today. At Peter's at 12 under, Brooks is at 11 under, and Team Smash is currently in the lead. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank I'm curious. You guys have known each other for a long time. Have you ever played in a final group in a final round together? I don't think we've played together in a tournament, have we? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I can think back all the way to Challenge Short days, yeah, and I don't remember right. anything. Yeah. I mean, there's been times where let's Slammer was caddy, and they were yeah. you were a group in front. Yeah. Um, back then, Brooks. So. Yeah, yeah. I was just sending things over. <laughs> yeah, he kept it over the uh, green back in the day. But yeah, I don't think we played together. So it'd be cool. But I mean, you play with a teammate; it's always always fun. And then yeah. you know, competing for the team thing and yeah. um, any individual thing. Yeah. I think you. It'd be exciting. I haven't been in this position, so um, it's exciting. Got the juices flowing, and, and it's always good. Hey, can you guys both kind of go back to the days when you were rooming together? I think it was in Jupiter, right? Uh, what was that like? How much fun did you have? Uh, what do you think of each other as roommates? Yeah, I mean, we were, we were just starting our careers, you know, so it was kind of fun. We were just trying to get our feet wet, and, you know, we were over there playing in on the Challenge Tour and the European Tour, and just kind of starting out we the way our schedules worked out we we you know we were home together a lot and we were on the road together so um it was just fun you know we were a lot younger different part of our lives and um we just had a good time it was fun i mean i enjoyed it i, I still think it's probably the most fun i've had playing golf it was 2012 to probably 2014 um playing in europe I, it was the most fun um got to travel the world um and get to do it you know, for a living, I think it's pretty cool. Were you influenced at all? I think you're about, uh, you turned pro about six months later than Peter. Were you influenced at all by what he's, what he did to start his career? Yeah, he definitely, he definitely played a part in it. Um, you know, it was either go out and try to Monday and, you know, see how Q school, I mean, try Q school later that year, but the only option was to go over to go play challenge short for me. I wasn't, I wasn't a big name. I wasn't going to get any starts. Um, so it was the only option I had if I wanted to, if I wanted to get out and be one of the best players in the world. I thought that was the best way to do it, and watching him do it was made it easier. And, and knowing somebody that was over there, um, it was you, she won. I think Scott yeah. Pinkney. Um, I forgot she was out there. Yeah, there was bit, yeah. there was a bunch of guys. Ben on, that, ben on too. Yeah, yeah ben a bunch of guys that we've yeah. grown up playing playing yeah. golf with, and um, so it was comfortable. It made it a lot easier. Sorry, right, one last question for me. Peter, I think you started out with four straight birdies. Mm, yeah. uh, can you just talk about your round? And, and both of you guys seem to find trouble at 13. <laughs> yeah, I found it in the water. Yeah, I watched that. Yeah. <laughs> I hit the big ball first. Um, yeah, no, I started started hot. I mean, yeah, I mean, I made, uh, made a nice putt on two, hit a close on three, good putt on four, and um, hit a good shot on five. So it was just a nice, solid start. And I hit a good one on six, and... Uh, yeah, horribly missed a putt, but yeah, it was a good start. Kind of obviously, it's a dream start, really. And um, yeah, it was just kind of kind of held on from there, and then and finished finished with a flurry. So it was nice. I thought I played pretty solid. I thought the green speeds were I don't know, maybe a foot and a half faster than what they were yesterday. So I had a little trouble adjusting, and um, you know, having to do that mid round, it was affirmed a few, and then. Didn't get a few to the hole, so somewhere in between those would be nice. Um, Peter, um, could you just talk us through your finish, especially the eagle, mm -hmm. and how do you feel it sets you up for tomorrow? Yeah, um, I hit a good drive on 18. I mean, back nine I drove it quite well, other than one hole. I was, I was on the wrong hole, so uh, yeah, that was left. <laughs> that was an accident. Um, I thought it was on purpose. No, no, it wasn't. I didn't miss a fairway other than that, too. So, I, or maybe I'm 17, but uh, yeah, no, 18 hit a good drive. Uh, had a perfect number. Um, I was trying to, I was, tr I was trying to hit one less. Zach, my caddy, talked me into, into the right club and um, just hit a good shot, made a good swing, and um, rolled up nicely and, and made a nice eagle. And then, uh, yeah, just two good shots on on one to finish, and um, hold, you know, made a nice putt for for a bird, so it was good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this will be the third time I'm in the final group in these, so in live events, so 
um, you know, just trying to keep keep getting comfortable, keep putting myself in this situation to, uh, to have a chance to win. And, um, you know, I obviously got a world-class player over here, one of the best out here, and uh, chasing me down. So it should be fun. And, yeah, it's that's the stuff you, that's the stuff you want. It's the stuff you play for. So I'm excited. For me, I think the team thing. I think it's really cool, um, right? Uh, Chicago, I was out of it individually, but my juices got flowing for the first time in a long. Well, it's the first time I've been competitive in a long time. But it was it was nice to be able to play for something, um, and I think that all probably only helped last week and then this week. It's been it's been a long time since I played good, but um, to be able to when you're not playing well, you still got to fight for the team and um, be competitive and and you know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, you have a bad day, you still got two more and, and try to help the team and do what you can. I think that's important. What about you? Yeah, it's the team. Um, I loved college golf and um, felt like I played really well in college and just that atmosphere and the camaraderie of being with the team and being with friends and practicing together and all that stuff. I just, I enjoy that. Um, I prefer that over kind of the lone wolf mentality that is, you know, the PGA Tour and, um, so being a part of something different and special and unique and um, it was just a just a great opportunity for me and um, yeah it's the happiest I've been playing golf in a long time so um, yeah I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be a part of it. It's different too I, I found myself staring at the leaderboard seeing how these guys are doing mm -hmm. more than anything yeah I mean I'm a leaderboard watcher I always look at it see what's going on but I'm always trying to figure out what Pete's doing what mm -hmm. Jay's doing and, and my brother so it makes it makes it fun and entertaining while you're out there you got something to root for. Be nice to be one, two, three, four, but yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, we'll take questions from Arabic press. Yasin will translate for you guys. Okay. 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 So I don't know if that word sounded familiar, hat trick. So he's saying you guys are, have led day one and day two. Are we going to see the hat trick tomorrow? Hopefully. Um, I, I think it'll be nice being able to play with a teammate, um, seeing how he's doing. You get an idea, get a feel for it. And um, really, you know, hopefully we're, we're both playing well. So we go out and go fire a good round tomorrow, I think that'll be important and kind of feed off each other. And um, I'm excited for it. I really am. I haven't been this excited in a long time. Yeah, I think I think winning for the team's pretty important because I don't know if we can quite get into that fourth spot. Can't. For, I can't get into the fourth spot for Miami, but getting in the fifth spot, at least that puts a lot of power in our position that we can kind of choose who we want to play. So... You know, I think getting a win tomorrow as a team is important because then, you know, we're allowed to we get our first choice, which is which is, I think, pretty important in that first round. So um, I think I think we got a lot to play for as a team. So it's good. Great. So I'm Tanya. All right. Thank yeah. you, guys. Good luck tomorrow.